Hi, this is Brandon Slay from ThirstSim.com. Today we're talking about exercise called a single arm kettlebell snatch. This is a great power and explosive based exercise to develop triple extension, not only from the lower body, but we're also gonna get some upper body strength as well, uh, flipping that kettlebell over. So we're gonna get some upper body power. So it's a good full body exercise. You're just gonna need one kettlebell because we're gonna perform this with one arm. And when we talk about holding the kettlebell for this exercise, we actually kind of wanna hold it closer towards the curve of the horn here. So I don't wanna really necessarily hold it right in the middle. I kind of want to be offset to one side because when I go to actually catch that kettlebell, it's actually going to be overhead like this. So notice that my hand is actually kind of hugging that turn there of the horn of the kettlebell, where if I'm here, this kind of leaves it in a really weird position. So when you go to actually hold that kettlebell, move your hand a little bit over towards the horn that curves in towards the midline of your body. So you don't want to be on this one. You want to be on the one that's in if I'm going to go do it right-handed. Feet are going to be in what I like to call a powered base position. So not right underneath our hips, a little bit wider. Plus we want to have room for that kettlebell to actually move as I go to hinge down. So I'm going to grab the kettlebell. Knees are going to start soft. I'm going to do a little bit of a swing. So think about doing a single arm kettlebell um, swing here like that. That would be our starting motion. But what's going to happen as I do that, I'm going to try to keep it closer to me with a high pull. So from here to high pull, and then I can go overhead. So a good way to teach this exercise is basically just to teach how to get the good swing going. You can add in a high pull, and then you can actually go into your snatch. Okay, so the other thing is when we go into the snatch, we actually want to flip and almost roll that fat part of that kettlebell behind us, okay? So as you can notice, I'm getting off my toes a little bit to get that here, and then I'm absorbing it, okay? I'm not actually trying to jump with the weight. I just wanna make sure I'm getting good extension. I'll kind of show you the side view here. Getting good extension through my butt, my knees, my toes as I go to catch that because like with a regular snatch, I'm not actually having to jump down to catch the weight, right? Like at a, in a competition, I'm basically trying to get this overhead but change my level just a little bit. I'm getting tall and absorb. Tall, absorb. Maybe grab a too light of a kettlebell to I'll demo it well, but then I would obviously switch arms, same thing. Okay, so knowing this is a power and explosive exercise, keep our reps in the lower end, probably three to five reps per side. You can even really go lower if you really wanted to. You'd have to do two or three. If you want to do a conditioning based, Day with this, I would do this like every minute on the minute. I wouldn't try to knock out 20 of these in one go. Do three or five, say three on each arm. Then you're gonna switch, take that rest, whatever you got left of the minute, do that for every uh, minute on the minute for like 10 or 12 minutes. You're gonna be out of shape as you can tell, or out of breath as you can tell as I am, just from demoing about 20 reps there in one go. Again, I like this for the triple extension part and the upper body uh, power because we are going to have to pull. So I do like to use this for athletes that are more full, full body uh, in terms of that. So I really like this for wrestlers, rowers, um, any kind of like grappling or jiu-jitsu, it works great for. Um, and you can even use this with like volleyball players still trying to work triple extension and get some upper body work in there as well. I really like that also. So for a general power-based exercise, three to five sets of three to five reps per side. Getting ready for conditioning. Keep those reps low still because it's a power-based exercise, but then do them like every minute on the minute or with controlled rest intervals to get some kind of conditioning out of it. Got any questions? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Have a great day.